Hey guys, it's me and welcome back to my next video in my vlog I am doing of me travelling. I am currently in Fethiye, which is one of my last stops in Turkey. And I had to move hostel and now another hostel which is in a fantastic location. It's right by all the shops and all the things to do. So let's get straight into it. <laughs> compared to the Istanbul one. It was a lot more quieter, a lot more peaceful. It was some of the same, same kind of things, but felt a bit more diverse. And I loved all the things on the uh, roofs as well, and it kept it nice and cool, which is what I need today, because it's very, very hot. There's a guy behind me, and he's uh, soaking the floor with a hose. And one of the reasons the locals do that is because there's a lot of dust, and uh, it gets rid of this dust when cars drive past, and also, it keeps it a little bit cooler because this floor is very white and I can feel the heat melting straight off the floor. So by just having that bit of water, it just keeps it a bit more. Well, the ancient city of Telmosus, Telmosus? I think I might be saying that wrong, but um, this is what's left of the city. Uh, Fethiye was built over an ancient city and this is some of the remains here, which are like into the cliffs, built into the cliffs. through little buses called Dolmus and the Mus is Turkish meaning stuffed because back in the olden days um, they would have no air con the driver would be driving around or having a cigarette in his hands and dealing money in the other hand so it'd be interesting to see what they're like now apparently they do have air con but it's kind of the only real transport to get around the city so I'd be getting one of those now back to the hostel So the bus just stopped about halfway and some dogs got on and they were sniffing for drugs and everything. Nothing was found and then they just left. But I was actually spoke to the bus driver just before I got off and he uh, he was a bus driver very near where I live in England and he knew Haven and Portsmouth and that my kind of surrounding areas, which is pretty crazy because, you know, I'm in the middle of Turkey. So I finally came up with my plans and what I'm planning to do is I'm going to leave on the 2nd. There's, there's hopefully a bus which goes straight to the airport from here in the morning and then I shall be in Slovakia, which will be nice. Um, so I've come up with a few plans for the next few days. So it's always interesting at night because it always seems more busier than the day. I guess people just come out now when it's a lot more cooler, which makes sense. I was very surprised when I was in the bus. There was a lot of English writing everywhere and um, I even saw English breakfast, so there must be a lot of tourists here as well. But, but not many travellers by the looks of it. There's only four people in my hostel tonight, so it seems very quiet with travellers. This is one of the funniest streets I've walked down. Some of the shops say like Sports Direct, but they spelt it wrong. Others say cheaper than Tesco, cheaper than Matalan. A lot of shops are just like English shops, but with a spelling mistake or something like that. this place was it's a whole street full of restaurants bars clubs it's pretty nice for a change actually but very surprising Just like being back in Britain, they got Britain music, Britain people everywhere, even some of the menus are in pounds.
things is that Turkey still has a curfew. So music is supposed to stop by a certain time, but the music stopped now and then when the police cars has passed, they're playing the music again, so. So today I'm at a Blue Lagoon. Um, but I won't be here for too long, but maybe an hour just because of the sun. Last night was very funny though. Like I was very surprised by the whole atmosphere. It was really like uh, over exaggerated Britain. I mean, every place was playing YMCA, Conga, Sweet Caroline, every place you walk past, which was quite funny. And there was also lots of British people everywhere, lots of sunburnt people. So it was, it was interesting. I was not expecting it. The beach was good, I got there quite early. It was relatively quiet and I did some swimming. And it was pretty warm, I mean, it, it's the warmest water I've ever swum in. Um, and now I'm going back, it's about 12 o'clock and hopefully Karakoc is the abandoned city and go there. I think I'm going to hike there. I was thinking of hitchhiking, but there's a nice route which goes through the forest and has some good views. So it should be nice and cool. So just starting the hike now, it's about one hour, ten minutes long, so not too bad. And it seems quite shady so far, which is nice. Look at these mountains. stumbled across this place here. I have no idea what it is and there doesn't seem to be any animals inside. It's getting a little difficult to tell where this path is now so just keep following the map. It's very rocky, quite easy to slip. Okay, and I think back on the path now. <clears throat> I guess this is a sign that I'm getting closer. I shall add to the pile. There we go. If anyone ever comes back here, look for this rock. And we made it. This is amazing. You can see all the houses as well in the mountains. This place is huge. You know, it really shows how old these buildings are when you can see how much nature has taken it over. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. I'm aiming to do a lot more videos like this with the camera. I'm also aiming to do this while I'm traveling because uh, my laptop does have a camera. It's gonna be a little hard with the positioning and where I'm able to do it in the hostels, especially if I'm traveling, but I think it gives a nice amount of background information afterwards because sometimes when you're recording it or you miss certain parts of information and it doesn't make sense without that bit of information. So by me doing this, I can add that in later on. I try and get the next vlog out within the next week maybe and it's really worth watching because this town is huge, it's super cool, you can go into all of the buildings and there's a lot of history behind it. I think I got about one or two more videos that I can put out um, and then I'll be out of footage until my next trip.